Let us investigate the traditional Santa story a little closer. The mysterious Saint Nicholas. The first major problem in the Santa Claus saga is the person of Saint Nicholas. There is very little evidence, if any, that the man Saint Nicholas actually existed. Nicholas' existence is not attested by any historical document, so nothing certain is known of his life except that he was probably Bishop of Myra in the 4th century. Nicholas, Saint Encyclopedia Britannica 99 Nicholas, Saint, lived the 4th century, Christian prelate, patron saint of Russia, traditionally associated with Christmas celebrations. The accounts of his life are confusing and historically unconfirmed. Nicholas, Saint Microsoft Encarta Encyclopedia 99 Unfortunately, very little is known about the real Saint Nicholas. Countless legends have grown up around this very popular saint, but very little historical evidence is available. Del Re, Gerard, and Patricia. The Christmas Almanac. New York, Random House, 2004, page 130. In 1969, the final nail in the coffin to the feeble fable of Saint Nicholas was officially hammered down. Despite the fact, Saint Nicholas is among Roman Catholicism's most popular and venerated saints, Pope Paul VI officially decreed the feast of Saint Nicholas removed from the Roman Catholic calendar. UPI wire services reported that Saint Nicholas and 40 other saints were deleted because of doubt that they ever existed. Pope marches 40 saints off official church calendar. UPI wire services. Because the saint's life is so unreliably documented, Pope Paul VI ordered the feast of Saint Nicholas dropped from the official Roman Catholic calendar in 1969. Santa Claus, Microsoft Encarta Encyclopedia 99, the next devastating error in the traditional Santa Comes to America legend is Irving's Knickerbocker history. Irving claims the early Dutch planted the legend of Santa Claus in America. One little problem, it is historically false. In fact, Irving, a well-known fiction author of such classics as Rip Van Winkle and The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, never intended Knickerbocker history as historical fact, but silly satire. To heighten the satire and humorous effect, Irving even used the comical pen name of Diedrich Knickerbocker as the author. In October 1954, prominent St. Nicholas historian, Charles W. Jones, published an irrefutable dismantling of the historical accuracy of Irving's Knickerbocker history in the prestigious, the New York Historical Society quarterly titled, Knickerbocker Santa Claus. Jones proved the early New Amsterdam Dutch were Reformation Dutch who believed the veneration of saints as evil heresy, especially Saint Nicholas. Jones provided first-hand documents of the early Dutch that decrees very severe laws prohibiting any celebration of Saint Nicholas. Jones added that there is no record of anyone breaking such laws. Jones's convincing analysis should be carefully examined by anyone researching the true origin of Santa. The following brief cites are from Jones's convincing work, nearly everyone repeats this story the Dutch Santa. But when we look at the evidence, that is, the newspapers, magazines, diaries, books, broadsides, music, sculpture, and merchandise of past times, the picture is not substantiated. Jones, Charles W. Knickerbocker Santa Claus. The New York Historical Society Quarterly, October 1954, Volume 38, Number 4, Page 362. There is no evidence that its Santa Claus existed in New Amsterdam, or for a century after occupation. Jones, Charles W. Knickerbocker Santa Claus. The New York Historical Society Quarterly, October 1954, Volume 38, Number 4, Page 362. I have not found evidence of Saint Nicholas in any form, in juveniles or periodicals or diaries, in the period of Dutch rule or straight through the 17th and 18th centuries to the year 1773. Jones, Charles W. Knickerbocker Santa Claus. The New York Historical Society Quarterly, October 1954, Volume 38, Number 4, Page 362. Jones also adds insult to injury. The traditional tale that Santa Claus is the anglicized corruption of the Dutch Santa class is also incorrect. Jones states, and by the way, Santa Claus is not a characteristically Dutch corruption. The place it has survived from early times in Switzerland and southern Germany. Jones, Charles W. Knickerbocker Santa Claus. 
The New York Historical Society Quarterly, October 1954, Volume 38, Number 4, Page 366. When examined with historical facts, the oft repeated history of Santa is so full of gross errors it ranks among history's most significant goofs. The final death blow to the traditional tale of Santa Claus is the belief that Santa Claus is the mystic Bishop Street Nicholas. We previously established that no historical evidence exists collaborating the person of Saint Nicholas, but ignoring that serious blunder for a few minutes, let us investigate the fable that Santa and Saint Nicholas are the same. The truth is, there exists no real connection from Saint Nicholas to Santa Claus. None. Zero. Zip. Nada. Every serious researcher into the origin of Santa Claus verifies this fact. A few examples, among hundreds, validates our ironclad case. Years of research confirmed that initial doubt, Santa Claus is an Americanization, all right, but not a Catholic saint. Despite a century of repetition, this story is simply untrue. CFK, Phyllis. Santa Claus, Last of the Wild Men, The Origins and Evolution of Saint Nicholas. Jefferson, McFarland and Company, Inc., 1997, pp. 5, 7. The dilemma was solved by transferring the visit of the mysterious man whom the Dutch called Santa Claus from December 5 to Christmas and by introducing a radical change in the figure itself. It was not merely a disguise, but an entirely different character completely replaced the ancient saint. Dot. However, with the Christian saint whose name he still bears, this Santa Claus has nothing to do. Wiser, Francis X. Handbook of Christian Feasts and Customs. New York, Harcourt, Brace and World, Inc., 1952, page 114. Although the Dutch brought Sinterklaas sick with them to the New World in the 7th century, Santa Claus was not born until the 19th century and was an American, not a Dutch, creation. Dot. Dot. If Nicholas, the ascetic bishop of 4th century Asia Minor, could see Santa Claus, he would not know who he was. Del Rhee, Gerard, and Patricia. The Christmas Almanac. New York, Random House, 2004, pp. 138,141. Another serious obstacle in that St. Nicholas is Santa Claus. Legend involves the date of December 25th. The feast and visit of St. Nicholas is celebrated on December 6th, the fictional date of his death, not December 25th. Even today, St. Nicholas Day and Santa Claus are still celebrated on December 6. The date of St. Nicholas Day has never been December 25. Despite the many times, the Santa legend is told, the magical St. Nicholas to Santa Claus fairy tale is simply untrue. Where did Santa come from? Nearly all Santa researchers agree that some traits of Santa were borrowed from Norse Scandinavian mythology. Encyclopedia Britannica describes the role of Nordic mythology in the life of Santa. Sinterklaas was adopted by the country's English-speaking majority under the name Santa Claus, and his legend of a kindly old man was united with old Nordic folktales of a magician who punished naughty children and rewarded good children with presents. Santa Claus, Encyclopedia Britannica 99. Some Santa researchers associate Santa with the Norse god of Odin or Woden. Crichton describes Odin as riding through the sky on an eight-legged, white horse named Sleipnir. Santa originally had eight reindeers, Rudolf was nine. Odin lived in Valhalla, the north, and had a long white beard. Odin would fly through the sky during the winter solstice, December 21-25, rewarding the good children and punishing the naughty. Crichton, Robin. Who is Santa Claus? The truth behind a living legend. Bath, The Bath Press, 1987, pp. 55-56, mythologist Helen Adeline Gwerber presents a very convincing case tracing Santa to the Norse god Thor in myths of northern lands. Thor was the god of the peasants and the common people. He was represented as an elderly man, jovial and friendly, of heavy build, with a long white beard. His element was the fire, his color red. The rumble and roar of thunder were said to be caused by the rolling of his chariot, for he alone among the gods never rode on horseback but drove in a chariot drawn by two white goats called Cracker and Nasher. He was fighting the giants of ice and snow, and thus became the Yule God. He was said to live in the Northland, where he had his palace among icebergs. By our pagan forefathers, he was considered as the cheerful and friendly God, never harming the humans but rather helping and protecting them. The fireplace in every home was especially sacred to him, and he was said to come down through the chimney into his element, the fire. 
Gwerba H. A. Myths of Northern Lands. New York, American Book Company, 1895, page 61.